you haven't missed much if you just joined us we're just getting into our discussion segments like always i have my panel of discussants seated right here with me in the studios they would introduce themselves quickly and would start a conversation i'm Let's razak you from, yeah razak. Very right razak okay scoffrey gabriel gabriel and nana kelvin you're welcome, gentlemen, to the thank set you. of New Generation. Yeah, thank you. Now, interestingly, education has been on, uh, you know, many media platforms for subject uh, matter. Let's uh, let's take a look at uh, this this way. Today, it is obvious that you know, with with a glaring benefit of formal education, people happen not to be taken the opportunity of it. Do you think that indeed people have s still not realized the essence of education, how good it can be, how important it is in our today's world? Let me start from you, Razak. Um, <clears throat> I think they've, they've realized the, the, the importance of education, but the, the problem has to do with accessibility. Mm. And even with the FQ, that's the, the free compulsory mm -hmm. uh, universal basic education, it's not entirely free, free because um, you go to schools and you find out that they, they pay um, watch man fee and mm. other other fee which comes with it. So um, parents who are, who are not well to do don't have that man, money to pay for those things. And there are a lot of people who are ready to go to school, mm. but they don't have there's there's no vacancies in, in schools for them. Mm. So I think those are some of the challenges facing education. Scoffrey, many people, many kids haven't seen the four walls of a classroom wall. Why do you think it is so in our today's environment? We are in a global village today. Well, I think first of all, we must understand that as a nation, we are coming from a dispensation where formal education wasn't part and parcel of us. We were used to the informal sector where we could trade was what people choose to learn. If you want to be a carpenter, you want to be a goldsmith, whatever you decide to do, you will have somebody that will go for person. So moving from that era to formal education, we don't need to wake up one day and see that everybody will quickly roll into it. Mm. As a matter of fact, if I'm not in school today and all that I want is to pass through a system called formal education, where my personality will not be developed and skill will not be enhanced, then I don't even know why we should call it educational system. Because the one who will go on the roadside to learn me mechanical engineering, sewing and stuff, they get the requisite skills and they are developed in a way. Mm. But those who sail through the wholesale kind of, kind of form of education. So it, it, is, it is of two edges. Whether we are talking about an education where people go through, the personality is developed, the personal skills is, is enhanced, the, 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 the person's ability to tackle issues and bring solutions, mm. if that is what we can call education, but mm. not what we see, push your, ch your world through, if the child is able to speak good English, is education, is that what we, are, is that what we want? So you are that? saying that people are ready to enroll in schools yes. and have some education yes. for themselves, but it's just the educational system that is... That is, that is absolutely That's right. a problem. Yes. Yeah. Perfectly. Gabby. I should say yes. It's basically the same because... Um, if you really want to make a decision, it's a student to know what is really happening. And uh, if you take a critical look for the past five years, if you take a critical look at the graduates, if they come out, they become unemployed. If you look at it, when you look at the, uh, when the United Nations Development Index, mm. people spend close to 18 years of schooling, your money, your time, your resources. And after that, after school, the companies tell you, sorry, uh, we can't getting into mm. the organizations. It becomes quite difficult. And if I look at this, if this is going to be the end result of my, uh, my child, then why should I go ahead, spend all this money, and after mm. I don't get any returns from it? So that's what discourages people that uh, uh, instead of this, let me just get them, just develop their skill and get something they are doing that can fetch money into their pockets, mm. you know, basically. So it's also keeping people in a way. I would want to believe that all four gentlemen, you have bitterness quote unquote with the educational structure right in Ghana so yeah. I would give you all two and a half minutes to share your concerns so let's start with you Kelvin we the youth we have to get something to pay for things that will mention the money taking care of it Um, 
you see with the education structure mm -hmm. from basic level throughout to tertiary uh, okay throughout to say SHS yeah right it doesn't actually seek to you know develop the individual holistically so. holistically because it, they treat us like computers they just input the knowledge and they expect you to at the end of the day yeah. during the examination go and just put it out right but they don't seek when you go to Europe or Asia they teach you to do something and alongside they help you to develop your personality right so just in case you have an idea and you want to bring it out you have all the flair all the confidence to come out with it you understand you are not shy to say maybe you are um, a, 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 a cleaner in the toilet you are not shy to say that because you've, you've been trained up from the beginning to believe in yourself and to have a strong personality you understand but here in Africa somebody could have the greatest idea but as a result of his his countenance the way he kind of relates to others he just gets there and they, they don't just respect him because as to how he's, he's bringing out his information, it's poor. So basically, our educational structure is not helping to develop as human beings, as uh, what you call Ghanaians, holistically as individuals. No. But they are just treating us like toys. And you think that the, the problem is from the foundation, it's starting yeah. with the foundation, yeah. the basics. Gabby? Well, uh, thank you very much. I believe my, my uh, submission will be based on one statement one great man made that he said that um, education should help you as an individual to know what you need how best to get it and get it without what infringing on the rights of others but when you take a critical look at our educational system there are a whole lot of problems and my concentration is going to be in universities you know most of them are theoretically inclined you go to school they teach you more theory they teach you less practical but when you go to the job market, you go and you're going to work for a company. You're going to contribute your skill and your ability and time to help them appreciate in their level of performance. They need the practicality and students don't have it. And that's, you know, there have been seminars on the various campuses. You get business people coming over to talk to the students. And some of the key things they talk about is all the fact that they are professionally blind. You know, they don't know, I mean, the nooks and crannies, the ups and downs when it comes to the job. So I, my, 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 my deepest problem is that issue. You don't spend time to give you the critical aspect of education. You go to class, they have a lot of subjects you need to learn and ensure that you stand mm -hmm. at the cutting edge. And they're looking for first class students. You know, years back, you get first people with first class. But for now, you realize that they get the first class, but professionally, they're not making any impact in the organization. Right. You know, and, and that is the problem we are facing. You get the lecturers, you know, they just want to finish the syllabus, mark the script so quickly, and ensure that they, are, they, they, they finish, they become effective. And that's affecting, mm. I mean, the student. They come out, school for 18 good years. And I don't seem to understand this. You school for 18 good years, and after mm -hmm. that, you go out there, no job, nothing. It means you're not getting anything on whatever you were doing. And that's my critical concern. And, and it's, it's, it's really disheartening when you do all this and you have this problem. And I think the lecturers, too, you know, most of them, you know, don't have the spirit of lecturing. Some of them are good. Some of them come because, yeah, they understand and they can teach. But we have people who have the flair and they, they understand what it means to what to lecture. So we realize that when people like that are lecturing, you know, you, you tend to understand it very well. And right. they tend to give you, I mean, mm. uh, the pros and cons of whatever you were learning. And that picks you so well. When you go out into the job market, you can make sense. And I just think there's also one side of it. Okay. You know, what has one also helped some other people is for the fact that when they come to school, they engage in extracurricular activities. And when they go and you're looking for, they tell you experience. They don't have experience, but the ability based on the experience they had in school, maybe serving as SRC executives, serving as association executives, it builds them up. So when they go there, they make an impact. And it's not all students that get a chance to do that. So this behooves on all the stakeholders. Mm. We need to be part of it to ensure right. that we make an impact, mm. you know. Gabby has okay. given his solution already to his problem. <laughs> well, um, I, I will look at it from this particular point of view. It's just like um, we are being educated, but we are more nourished of wisdom, knowledge, skills, and understanding. Let's look at the blueprint of Ghana's educational foundation. Mm. You realize that Legon was set up to, to, to mm. tackle a specific need of our society. Tech was also set up to also tackle a specific need of our society, um, the, the school of languages. So you realize that um, the first blueprint of our educational system today is suffering from Kwashiorkor. Suffering from Kwashiorkor, more knowledge. Because 
now sectors where they don't they don't need to concentrate they are concentrating on so if you put the, that blueprint and the, what we have to i don't know whether i should call it yellow print or white print because it is far apart from the blueprint now you will have an engineer who will come out from an engineering school whose car will break down pick his phone and call a mechanic at the roadside what did you study at school okay mm-hmm. you you if you meet um, um, um engineer whose television will break down he did electrical electricity but he cannot open the machine and fix the fault in there mm-hmm. but in certain jurisprudence okay the moment the moment they discover what you are inclined to buy gift you are giving them like my brother when he put it to 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 invest that much they, they build your confidence they build they build you up to feel free to mm. handle issues on that level so Ghana's education system as a matter of fact is suffering from Kwashioko, from the lecturers from the foundation from infrastructure and it's amazing what many of our, our leaders did not even enjoy yesterday they, they, we have all that today but yet we are not having the mm. best of education Take ICT for instance. Those days you will struggle with no, you struggle with information. Now it is available. But acquiring knowledge, okay, it's not just, just reading books. If you are not able to apply the knowledge rightly, then that will be the need and the lack of what we see in our system. Absolutely. The, the, look, look at this nation we live in. Mm. Pick point one thing, like I say it's as a result of good education. Pick point one thing. So it is about time that we must understand that the system of education will fall short of the blueprint. Mm. So let's go back. As we speak, we have almost about nine uh, 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 public universities, about 21 uh, uh, private universities, um, 38 training colleges. So, so you look at the gaps, and you go to one class, and you have about 98 students, 70 students in one classroom. What, what are we doing? What, what are we doing as a nation? And, and like you said, the lecturers, they copy and paste. That is what they are doing. Copy and paste. Those who are really doing something, when 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 they step out, you you find it in their students. Like our late our late president, all students who pass through his hands as a lecture lecture of law, hear their testimonies. You understand how many of such letters do we have out there? As for our system, it's simply sorry for Bashir Kof. I'll focus my attention um at the basic level because definitely you, you cannot build a building without a good foundation. Certainly. Um, one area we tend to forget is the KG. Mm. And we are told by psychologists that the first seven years of each, each person's life is very, is very vital. Because that's the time you, you subconsciously you, you, you implant certain right. key issues in, in their minds. And what do you see as education as a sector? There are a lot of unskilled teachers. So a child might, had, might, might, might have a talent, mm. but since the teacher does not have the requisite skills to point out that talent mm. and refer him or her to the appropriate quarters mm. for the, that talent to be nurtured up, he, he grows up, he grows up without, without, without identifying that talent. Right. Okay, so, um, and the education system has been planned, it's is, 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 is in the form of a pyramid. Mm. A lot of people are supposed to be um, at the base, then just a few are able to make it to the top. Right. <laughs> so what I what 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 I suggest is that let's create more access. So that if you if um, mm. an educated nation is, is a successful nation. Absolutely, it is. So let's create more access. Mm. And one one thing is to um, what's the name? Uh, motivate the teachers. Right. And build their capacities. And um, government can roll up. Um, um, periodical programs mm. which will aim at um, expanding and updating teachers with modern ways of teaching. Right. Um, mm. A friend of mine went, like, went to, was in university. He went for a friend, a friend who had completed three years ago's notes. Mm. And it was the same thing that the, the, the lecturer taught him that particular day. That means that like, the, the lecturers are not abreast with the modern trend. Modern train. Right. Mm. Things keep changing. Mm. Theories coming day in and day out absolutely um, so if if you look at our uh, system uh, at times we sit back and we, we say we, we, are, we are joking we all seem to be very very passionate about uh, you know our educational system because it makes us who we are in a, in evidently but interestingly with with all the um problems and the challenges that you have shared with us your concerns would also you know um 
discuss it out and you know churn it out and say that oh the Ghanaian youth or the Ghanaian child is quite 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 lazy quote unquote you know we like to be spoon fed more like silver spoons in our mouth because there have been situations where people didn't have it that much yet still they made it so why can't we be or why can't we be in that situation and why can't we also make it if we find ourselves uh, I, I just don't buy faced that. with problems like that I just don't buy that because Ghanaian youth are not are not lazy. They are not lazy. They are people who are so much burning with passion. They, they they want to do something. Seriously. You understand? They are doing all that they can to do it. But the assets is not there. The foundation is not there. Somebody needs some small money to start some small business. It's not as if we, we are not lazy. Just, Just as much as somebody needed that small money and that small, you know, support, yet still they did make it. Yeah, they didn't make it. But it took years, you understand? But when there is the access, it wouldn't make it so difficult for somebody to right. make it, you mm. understand? So, obviously, that person you're talking about, um, you know, uh, didn't have the access. Mm. But eventually, for a number of years, he tried and he made it. So it's going to keep long. Mm. But if those at the top make things easy for us, those down here, it, it, it will help us make it easy, easy, easy mm. in life. Well, interestingly, there has been many debates going on about, you know, our educational system since it is an election year. You do realize that uh, many platforms, you'd realize uh, our political leaders uh, talk passionately about education. The Ghanaian youth has been crying foul about our educational system, saying that something should be done about it. Do you think that it's, it's been long coming? Well, with our educational system, since when a society, a society uh, who falls short of, 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 of the future and carving out their needs per their environment, this is what we are going to experience or experiment. Like I was saying, assuming there is this child who is gifted, and it is true that I am not a mathematician, I'm not good at numbers. I'm good at speaking, I'm good at doing this. So where are the infrastructures or institutions that will nurture such a talent? Mm. There are those who are very bad at, 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 at words, but very brainy at, at figures. Where are those infrastructures? Because when I write uh, WASI and I pass maths, I pass econs, and I cannot pass English, science, and others, where do I go? You understand? So um, our, our educational system and the call for quality accessible mm. education must be the number one priority on the list of every Ghanaian. It is, I don't care about whatever a politician will say. What I care about is understanding the dispensation. According to science, about every 10 years, that generation is different. How they want to approach things, how they see things, how they are endowed with wisdom and knowledge. Do we have this as a reality? As other worlds are exploring? No. So if this day and age, today I'm saying the future leaders of tomorrow are no more. We are here today. They should give us the environment to be able to explore, to open our feathers and feel comfortable. It is that thing that this country can move towards a direction we once dreamt of. So whatever it is, let's look for the kind of education that will equip us to take the mantle mm. from the leaders mm. we have today. Gabby, do you think that the intensity of you know education as a subject matter from our politicians has been long coming? Yeah, it has been long coming in the sense that you know they are all talking about it. Uh, we want to do this. They're talking about that. it intensively now. Yeah, but um, I think what they are forgetting is understanding what is really happening. You know, even marketing, when you want to undertake a marketing activity, you first have to go and do your research. Right. understand what is really happening in the terrains and you can know how best to synchronize whatever mm -hmm. abilities you have as a marketer to whatever is happening to ensure that what you succeed but most of them you know there are a whole lot of problems what they should do is to scan the environment so then our politicians merely scratching the issues of scratching, education you know they just scratch it a bit but the fact is that go into what is happening in education but that is not good then, isn't it that is not if they are merely scratching the issues yes. pertaining education then that is no good you, don't, is it? you will not get the best effort because Absolutely. if you don't know what is really happening but you have your resources and you just mm. want to do something you will miss fire you not get it right so the fact is that they are, they are not going to what is really happening the, the, the teachers the lecturers are complaining they don't have they are not giving them their stake uh, i mean their take of the national cake i mean people are complaining everywhere people in the village they have challenges why don't you go into it identify those challenges then use our strength 
you know, as a party or as I mean, as a personality, to ensure that we fill these gaps and then we can have holistic success in education. Mm. When you look at it, no, it falls short. This is it's like bringing in an innovation if there are still problems about the situation. No, it's not going to work. You are still going to see the same old results. You want to get like mm. doing the old things and expecting to get a new result. No, we get the old results. Mm. You understand? So we are not getting to I mean the real facts about education. They are not telling us what is really happening, tackling the main issues. No, we can't have success when you still want to bring innovation where there is problem. What would you all recommend? you've you've been part and parcel of you know the whole experience so what would you recommend kelvin basically basically i think we should have a strong right technical and vocational system background very very strong because you look at europe asia most of the developed countries they had initially they had still they, they have a strong technical and vocational background you understand and the issue of developing the child mm holistically not, not everybody can be an academia yeah mm. so holistically the person should develop a, they should develop the individual the individual to develop a personality right. because everybody has his personality but Absolutely. Like, you see people going like i want to become like this person and start talking like that person no you are it unique, takes more than that you are uniquely created by god god uniquely and fearfully created you so mm. obviously you shouldn't behave like somebody no you should ask you should admire somebody's mm. you know and even if you do want to behave like somebody there should be that uniqueness about you something distinct Thank you very much. absolutely Thank you very much. so so one last thing to uh quickly you see with the issue of free education mm -hmm. it's a good idea it's a good idea because i'm in the ministry being church Mm. There are so many people who come around and they want to continue into SHS, but financially they are not able. And you look at this and you, you are gripped in, in, in your heart, mm. seriously. But one thing is, as my brother was saying, they are scratching the surface. They should change the whole structure. Right. You understand? You can't say free education and still the same structure is the same. Because when you go to um, US or China, every five years the education standard changes the structure changes mm -hmm. you understand but for us we are striking we are scratching the surface and the politicians are taking advantage of those on should i say maybe uninformed Ghanaians, right illiterate people because they are the main you understand and they are saying free education free education free education and that's not right that's not right that's so wrong so thank you very much well, uh, Daddy, thank you very much i think uh, for now you know uh, the life cycle of education we've gone through that we've gone past the introduction stage we've gone past the growth stage we are now in maturity and uh, you could realize that uh, you know there are no amendments like our brother said so what need to be done is that we if, if you want to take an action when it comes to our education the first step is to conduct a situation analysis let us thoroughly examine our education find some out find out some of the loopholes some of the problems then we look at how best to channel our resources to solve the problem one by one one thing at a time i think this this these are some of the problems how some of the projects undertaken by some of the there was a particular time they had a project whereby uh, i looked at the focus they were targeting unemployed graduates and i asked myself this question why should you target unemployed graduates why don't you go i mean to the schools and find out what is making them unemployed and start tackling the problem but where to become unemployed and look at how best you can help them out is the issue so i think what we need to do now is to critically examine the education find out the problems find out the things that are that, that is preventing i mean the success of the idea that was introduced by somebody right. some years back and when you do that we can now tell government now these are the problems we need now to let's, go back to the drawing board let's, let's go back to the drawing board mm. let's, let's find out let's i mean let's research let's find out the problems and right. if we do that we can one thing at a time if one person does this another person also comes sees the problem mm. and gradually like our brother said maybe five after every five years after every three years look at how best because everything changes the business environment changes society changes but if education refuses to change there's a problem and it's going to affect us like i said in my earlier submission there was a blueprint for our educational system yes yes have come by and things have advanced but since it had the core if if you look at what the politicians are preaching today when the blueprint was drawn it identified that in a certain part of our country access to education was very difficult for that reason they enacted free education for them mm -hmm. another sector 
it was quite liberal because the 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 the, the, the colonial masters had settled set up schools here and there so access to education was not that as bad as that in the north right so we must think and look at what our priorities are today whether to be free or not my dear sister it it it, it, it is on the foundation that will break in two years so we must go back to the drawing board what are really the peculiar challenges before you begin to tout any form of education you want to manifest look at what are the realities now we have so much challenge at our hand even then when population was so minute okay it was a sector of the nation that had free education right but now that our population has got about 28 million you are not going to think of implementing something of that sort no i also don't agree that is all just about accessible and quality. What would go into making it quality? What will go into making it accessible? Well, when we have a class that accommodates about 98 people, mm -hmm. and a boarding house that can take about 30 people in one room, what is, is, is this what you are going to call accessible quality? Or oh, with the population margin that we have, we are going to also gravitate towards free education. Mm -hmm. For, as, as a matter of fact, the politicians are insulting the youth and, and, of, of this nation. They are taking us for a runner for granted, thinking that we cannot see through or read in between the lines. Mm. If you take your time and do thorough analysis on general education, free HS, free SHS, we don't need it. Quality and, and, and affordable education, how quality, what must go into the quality? Right. Have you sat down to mm. a pragmatic results? We need the mm. yeah. at the way we think when we talk about the youth mm. and the future. Wow. We run out of time. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this discussion. Obviously, I'm very sure that you viewers watching at home also do share in the view that indeed we need a paradigm shift in our educational system. We're talking about education, improving the lives of the Ghanaian youth and of course Ghana as a whole. Join me in this discussion. Share your comments or share your views, your thoughts with me on Facebook.